So you want to make passive income with vending machines. You want to start your own vending machine business. You're saying, hey, Dom, yeah, I want to make money. I, I want to, you know, have a side income. I want to have additional money so that I can pay an extra bill every month, but I just don't know how. Well, you're going to want to stay tuned to this video because I'm going to go in detail on how you need to locate for your vending machine business and how you can get as many accounts as possible. I knew it was all on me. All my best were all on me. I knew if I called the universe enough, it call on me. I believed in non existing All my thoughts and true fruition. Poke the universe enough. It if you're new here, and... make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the family, hit that bell so you get notified every time I create a video like this. Today, we're going over some very awesome stuff that I wish I knew when I started a vending machine business that had to do with machines like this. Bought 12 machines, used 400 bucks off Craigslist, took those machines, cleaned them up, made them look pretty, went out the next day, placed four of them. That was making me around $100 a month. They were triple head vending machines, 100 to 125, 20 bucks a month. I was a senior and this was literally just money that was coming in and I was still fixing phones. It was super awesome. I didn't have to have a full-time job like my friends. And that's how I started. That's how you can start. Uh, I don't say this to brag. That's just my story. Um, from that, I placed those four. Then I had those additional eight. Those eight machines sat for a while, probably for the next six months after I placed those four. Um, and then I started to place more. I, or I had a locating surface for the last couple. Uh, didn't like selling. But the main thing is when a lot of people enter the vending business, they want to know how can you locate what what makes you better how do you do it how do you you know handle the rejection the thing is you just do you're selling yourself every single day if you're not selling yourself every single day then you're not moving forward you're not being a true entrepreneur every single one of us are selling ourselves we post on instagram and guess what we post that picture with that effect or that quote or that thing or that story it's just to sell ourselves, to show who we are as people, to show you know ourselves to the world. And that's the same with when you're locating your vending machines. You have to just sell in life. So how can you locate? What can you locate? And what are some tips that you have done? Great question. So some tips that I have for you would be, when you go out locating, a no does not mean no. Seriously, it doesn't make sense, but a no does not mean no. You need to realize that a lot of people are going to say no to you. A lot of people don't want to hear your pitch. A lot of people don't want to know what you're selling. A lot of people don't want to hear you say like, oh, uh, I have a vending machine and this is what I want to do. No, they don't want to hear you. They'll just say no, but ask them why. Say, hey, uh, what's, what's the reason that you're saying no to placing a free vending machine here in your business? I see you have this space here. Let's try it out. Um, it, we'll leave it here for 60 days and if it's not good, then I'll take it out and I'll give you some, I'll give you half of the profits inside and they'll say, Oh wait, you didn't say that. And then you say, Oh yeah, that's what we do. Um, we place these here 60 days, no obligation to you, no contract. We see how it goes. And if me and you are happy, then we can, then we can continue this relationship. But if you're not happy, I'll take the machine and I'll give you half the profits inside. Does that sound fair? Nine times out of 10 that works. One tip. Second tip is when you go out locating, use a map. Use a map or use this app, which I'm gonna pull up for you. Uh, I think it's called Ask Around or Around. It's called Around Me, the app. I'm gonna pull it up here. But download this app if you're a vendor, it's called Around Me. So essentially you can go in this app, you wanna find coffee shops. Coffee shops do really well. So you go in here and it literally sorts through all the coffee shops in your area. And you use this as your way to go around selling. Uh, my tip to go along with that as well, because now you have a list of places that you need to go in your area. With those, you want to make sure that you um, do at least 25. If you're gonna go out and locate, don't go out, locate one, get a no and say, damn, I don't wanna keep doing this. That happens, I've done it before, I've learned to work through that and just be disciplined to say, hey, I'm doing 25 today, no matter how it works, if I get all no's, I'm doing 25 businesses. You're gonna increase your law of averages. The law of averages means the more that you do, the higher chance that you're gonna get what you want. Um, but that's what that means. And essentially, you're gonna to wanna to use this app. It's called Around Me. I'll have a link in the description for you to look it up. And then you can just go to all these places. Obviously, sometimes it's not good. Like these are 7-Elevens and Dunkin's. You're not gonna get those places. Um, McDonald's, not gonna happen. Save your coffer company. Don't even know where that is. Um, you can go there. 
well, obviously this is my area, but just look, look on around me, go in there. Um, here's my third tip. You want to hit coffee shops. You want to go to movie theaters. You want to go to pubs, which are bars. Those do fantastic for those machines and supermarkets as well as restaurants and taxi spots even. Uh, taxi spots was one of my first businesses. When I bought those 12, I had a locating company come in and they got me this taxi spot and it was literally sold out every single week. It was a triple head. I would make anywhere between a hundred and $150 a week at this taxi place because all these guys that came back with change, they just put it in the machine. And it was crazy because I didn't even realize to keep up with it when I was in high school and it would just always be empty when I was going there. Um, eventually you want to fix that because you never want your machine to be empty. If your machine's empty, you're not making money. If your machine's at your house, you're not making money. So that's my other tip is look through here and go through those a uh, couple places that I just gave. Um, and then my next tip is going to be don't bring a soldier home. Uh, one of the people at the National Bulk Vendors Association, which I'll also have a link below. I sit on the board of this association, which I recommend you sign up. If you're going to place machines like this, these quarter vending machines, you want to sign up for the National Bulk Vendors Association because they keep you in the loop with all the laws that the Federal Drug Administration places upon us. Um, a recent law like that going on a tangent was the one that you have to put calorie contents on your machines. Obviously this machine here is a toy machine. Don't bring a soldier home. So never bring a vending machine home with you that you didn't place. That's not what this is. This was just one of my machines I had laying around and I didn't have a stand for it. So I just put it in my room. It's a cool little prop. And honestly, whenever my little cousins come over, they always even put a quarter in there. If I open that up, there's probably a couple quarters, but it's not there for that reason. It's just a cool little prop in my room because, you know, that's, that's a cool product. Um, never bring a soldier home means never bring a vending machine home. If you go out and you're placing machines and then you don't get, like if you bring the machine with you, obviously when you're locating, but if you don't get a yes, that means keep locating. Don't ever come home with a machine because then you're going to get into that habit of coming home with machines and then they'll just sit in your garage. You never want that to happen. You always want to place them. If they're not placed, they're not making money. You're not making money. And that's not a smart way to do business. Those are a couple locating tips there. Um, no contracts, obviously, in the beginning, especially with bulk machines, no contracts. With your bigger snow to sack machines, crane machines, ATMs, contracts, definitely. You want to put those into contracts. More expensive equipment, more money that's being handled and processed through it. Those should definitely be in contract. Um, with bulk machines and locating, that's essentially, you know, all the things you could do. Use that app around me, link in the description. And my final tip that I'll give you to enter the vending industry, my number one tip that a lot of vendors don't do is create a website online. I get so many leads just from, you know, my website being online and ranking on the first page on Google for my specific keywords and for these towns that I'm targeted in. You want to have a website that converts, a website that shows what you do and shows the machines you have and offers a no obligation to them. No strings attached is what sells people. You have to say there's no strings attached. This machine is free. You have to work it out. It depends on the area in the world. It depends on the country. It depends on the state even um, how you're going to sell your machine. But those are my locating tips and I hope these locating tips help you start your vending machine business. I don't want people coming to my channel and not taking action. If you're coming to these videos to make passive income, I don't want you sitting wherever you are. If you're sitting on your couch, if you're sitting on your bed, if you're sitting in a chair just like I am, do not think, hey, I'm going to do this next week. No, there's no tomorrow. There's now and there's only now. Start now with what you have and what you can do and that's going to push you forward going forward in the future. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the family, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. I knew it was all on me, all my best were all on me. I knew if I called the universe enough, it call on me.